Hello again everybody, it's Brian Alley Walsh with NewOrleans.com. A happy Wednesday, October the 20th, I believe, to you all. Uh, let's start with the laundry list of injuries and current and roster status as well. Uh, let's begin with the roster moves. Today they placed cornerback Randall Gay, veteran cornerback Randall Gay, on injured reserve ending his season. Uh, concussions and the symptoms from post-concussion syndrome uh, have, have placed him on IR and unfortunately it will end his season. Sean Payton said that it was not career threatening. I asked him specifically that question. He didn't think it was career threatening but certainly is enough to end his season uh, prematurely and that's uh, not good news. Uh, certainly it's not good news for the team but most importantly it's not good news for Randall and we wish him nothing but the best and hopefully uh, gets back to uh, feeling good about himself uh, in the very, very near future. Uh, taking his place on the roster is veteran cornerback Quincy Butler, 6'1", 188, played at TCU, he actually was on the Saints practice squad back in 08. He'll join the 53-man roster and then Saints officials also terminated the contract of veteran linebacker Clint Ingram. Clint Ingram was a guy that they brought in for free agency from Jacksonville back in April before the draft and uh, he came in here rehabbing for microfracture knee surgery and he just never got on the field, uh, plain and simple. And uh, they just didn't think that he'd made enough progress so they terminated his contract. And uh, so Clint, we wish you nothing but the best down the road. Uh, from an injury standpoint, so the, the roster uh, stands at 53 active. Uh, veteran uh, free safety Darren Sharper participated in his first official practice since undergoing microfracture knee surgery back in February and uh, said that he, he feels good and, and a decision will be made probably Saturday and whether or not that he would rejoin the 53-man roster. Right now he doesn't count against the roster under the uh, PUP rules uh, governed by the league. So they'll make a determination. If indeed they bring him onto the active 53-man roster, they would have to release somebody to make room for him. So we'll monitor that through the week. But he, he said that he felt good after practice, and Coach Payton said he liked what he saw. Uh, from an injury standpoint, uh, a handful of players worked on a limited basis. Uh, the, the, the most of, of uh, uh, new ones were guard Jari Evans with hamstring. Uh, newly signed running back Julius Jones with a shoulder. Uh, starting corner Patrick Robinson with a knee. Uh, Will Smith is back on limited basis with a groin and that's probably just a precautionary me measure and and uh, safety, strong safety Roman Harper with a hammy. Uh, Jabari Greer is the one worth, mon worth monitoring the most and uh, starting corner injured his left shoulder in the third quarter against Tampa Bay on Sunday and he did not work at all and he was the reason, that was the reason why they, they brought in uh, Quincy Butler to the active roster. So we'll monitor that. Uh, he didn't practice at all, either did Reggie Bush, Pierre Thomas, Tracy Porter, or, nor Scott Shanley with a hamstring. So all those are guys, uh, especially Shanley, we'll monitor through the week. But essentially it was happy times in the locker room. Uh, a strong, impressive win against Tampa Bay. Uh, the offensive line was kidding with the media. And uh, in fact, I was kidding with John Stinchcomb and Zach Streif and Jermon Bushrod and the boys. Uh, said, you only got 212? Only 212 rushing yards? What happened? What happened to the 250? So, you know, these guys were poking fun back at us and, and uh, trying to define the definition of what several meant because a couple of us in the media made references to John Stinchcomb had had several penalties are called against him. So, hey, listen, it's all fun and games right now. When they're winning and playing well, it's a joy to be in the locker room. We'd like to wish Drew and Brittany Breeze congratulations for the birth of their second child. I believe the boy's, young boy's name is Bowen Christopher Reeves, I believe. Breeze. And uh, so congratulations to the Breeze family for their new addition. And uh, other than that, uh, Please stay glued to NewOrleans.com for the rest of the afternoon. I'll be posting a notebook and also a story on what defensive backs, from a black and gold standpoint, how they're going to approach this new suspension rule with regards to hits on 
on offensive players and what have you, fines and suspensions, and how that affects the way that they're going to approach the game. And now that, that'll be a post for later this evening. But other than that, uh, please stay tuned to NewOrleans.com. And for Brian L.A. Walsh, aloha, everyone.